Yeah, should I start? Yeah. Hello, everyone. My name is Francisco Herrera. And, and I'm Daniel Grimm. And um, we are here to give a lightning talk called it, uh, Sail Operator Making Seamless Istio Upgrades Easy. So we are going to be talking about this new project that we are working on. So first one, what we think that are the main problems upgrading Istio right now? So Istio upgrades can be really complex and involve a lot of manual steps. So especially when we are running large clusters. So if you are running a large cluster with a lot of services, with a lot of uh, complex configuration, this can be really difficult to do. So right now, the official in cluster operator has been deprecated. So we are going, we are trying to fill this gap that now it's empty by building an operator that can be, that, that can be managed easy upgrades in IC declarative way. This means that we are looking to do something that users can be get feel comfortable to, to, to do. So in case people here don't know what's an operator, I will explain. So basically an operator is a piece of code that is built to communicate directly with the, with the Kubernetes operator to manage custom resources custom resource de definition that are given by the user to update and manage uh, Kubernetes resources. So not you, not, now that you know what is an operator, what are our three core ideas for the sale operator? So we are looking to add new value to the community. We are looking to add features that we do not have right now with the, uh, with the community operator or with, with the former community operator. We are looking to be a community first operator. So the main idea is to have a really good feedback from the community, get contributions, get what the people want to from, from the operator. So, and we are basing, basing this operator on the Istio Helm API. This means that we are taking directly the Helm charts that are in the Istio upstream project, and we are using this in the operator. So this is really useful because uh, once a change is being done in the upstream community, we can port this change immediately. So we don't, do not have to wait large periods to port this change to our operator. So for example, this is an Istio resource uh, used by the sale operator. So you can set with this simple configuration an Istio dual stack cluster uh, control plane, just porting the, the, the spec that values mesh, mesh config, setting Istio dual stack to true. So if you are used to, if you are use it to use Istio control planes, and you know how to configure the, the home charts, it will, re it will be really easy to you to port this change to use it in the sale operator. All right. Uh, yeah, and I'll talk a little bit more about what's different in the sale operator compared to the in-cluster operator that we had before. So one of the main things that we designed the operator around is canary upgrades. So if you, don't, if you haven't used canary upgrades in Istio yet, uh, you can imagine it like if you have to replace a bridge and there's traffic going over it, of course you could just shut the bridge down and you know, fix it, but usually you want to keep the traffic going. So what do you do? You build a temporary bridge next to it, you reroute the traffic, and once you're done fixing the original bridge, you reroute the traffic again. Now, we're not civil engineers, we're software engineers, so we don't have to build temporary bridges. Uh, but we also deploy a second control plane, we reroute the traffic, and what we can do is we just uh, migrate everything to the new control plane and we shut down the old one, and uh, it's basically the same thing. So, with this in mind, uh, that's basically the core idea of the operator. We wanted to be the best operator to do canary upgrades of your Istio control planes. So how does it look in, in APIs? We tried to make it look and feel a lot like the APIs you already know from Kubernetes. So if you've used the deployment API and you know what a replica set is, then you kind of already know how this works. Um, so if you look at uh, this and you have, let's say you had a deployment with uh, a spec that's defined it to have two replicas, then the Kubernetes control behind it would create a replica set for you that then spawned two pods. Now you change the, your deployment to 
uh, have three replicas. What it does in the background is it spins up a new replica set that has th three replicas in its spec, which in turn uh, spins up three parts for you and then it tears down the old replica set. And we do a very similar thing with Istio. So you define an Istio resource and you set its version to be 122.3 and it will, the sale operator will create an Istio revision object for you, which will then in turn deploy your Istio control plane with that version. So it creates the deployments, the service accounts, everything you need to run Istio. Now when you change the version on your Istio resource to 124, what it does in the background is it creates a second Istio revision resource with the version set to 124. And once you've migrated all the traffic over, it will automatically terminate the old one. So it's, it's very similar to the API concepts you already know. And with that, let's do a quick demo. We're, we're a lightning talk, so we only have three minutes. If I'm rushing through this, uh, sorry about that, but uh, there was no other way. We have a three minute demo prepared. Let me make sure the quality is all right. Okay, I can't go full screen. Oh, it's fine. So, wait, before I start, up here in the right, I show you these, the operator resources. So the Istio resources will show up here. Istio revisions will show up here. And then we have a resource called Istio revision tag. And if you've used Istio, you probably know about revision tags. That way you can have sort of stable revision names during upgrades. So it allows for things like using the Istio injection label. And when you upgrade, you just point the tag to the new version and you don't have to relabel your namespaces. That's something we implemented as well. And I'll show you in this demo. So first we make sure that the sale operator is installed, it's up and running, all fine. So then we create our Istio resource, which is uh, of type revision based and has version 123.2. We wait till it's up and now it's up and healthy and it's considered not in use by the operator. So it constantly checks in the background whether it's referenced by any workloads. And then we create our revision tag that points to this Istio resource and the revision tag is called default and that allows us to use the Istio injection equals enabled label. And with the tag creation, our resource is now considered in use by the operator because it's referenced somewhere. Then we create a book info namespace and you see that uh, the tag is not in use currently and now we create a label on the namespace and now it is considered in use because it has the injection label. So next step, we'll create the book info sample application in that namespace and it brings up all the uh, application pods and the proxies. And then we'll very quickly go in after all these pods are up and verify that they're connecting to the correct Istio D. Of course, right now there's only one, but we'll do this before and after the upgrade just to show you that it's doing everything all right. So, yes, here we go. Uh, we're only showing the review services for lack of screen space. So it's connecting to the default v 1232 instance that we deployed. That's all fine, as expected. So now we go in and we patch the Istio resource and change the version to 124. No, actually, we're changing it to latest, which points to the tip of the master branch. Uh, we use that to test the latest version of Istio on master. And now you see we have a second control plane coming up, a second Istio revision. And now both these revisions are considered in use. The old one, because we still have proxies connected to it, and the new one, because the revision tag was automatically rewired to point to the new revision. And what we need to do now is we need to restart the applications so that they're re-injected with the new proxies. And after that's done and the old ones are terminated, we can see that the old control plane is no longer considered in use. There you go, it switched to false. And uh, then after 30 seconds, which is the timeout that we gave uh, in the original resource, it's configurable. After 30 seconds, that uh, Istio revision and the accompanying Istio control plane is removed by the operator. And that's it. Yeah, now we just have to wait 30 seconds, I guess. Um, and then it disappears. So let's see, and it's gone. So that's the demo, and that's pretty much also our lightning talk. Thank you very much. So, you can thank find you, us. 
You can find us at the Istio ecosystem organization on the sale operator. We have a sale operator channel on Istio Slack. And we try to do all our work asynchronously. We're globally distributed, um, mostly Red Hat folks for now, but we're very much open to contributions and people opening issues. So yeah, it would be great to see some of you there. Thank Thanks you. Thanks a lot, everyone.